Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be a bit of a review of the Kaisercraft Kaiser Cutter, which is my new trimmer. So let's not waste any time and let's jump in. Okay, so as you guys know, I've had a lot of trouble with trimmers, just in general. Um, I think, and, and if you sort of go through the, the four big ones that I've had, They've all had very simple things that have been wrong with them. So the first one was the Carl one, which was really hard to find blades, and I know I found that very frustrating. So that one was out because I could never find a replacement blade. Now uh, the second one was the, <laughs> and I still have all these, so I'll put pictures of them on while I'm here. Um, the second one was the We Are Memory Keepers dial trimmer, which wouldn't cut straight, uh, which was a very large frustration. Uh, although I still do use it for. Um, like wavy borders or things like that. Uh, the third one was then the K's, not the K's craft, the Fiskars shortcut trimmer, which is a rotary trimmer, same problem. I bought it from Aldi, then couldn't find blades to fit it, uh, and it was just a bit of a failure. So this one, I think, is going to be okay because everything I need to replace bits on here is very accessible to me. So I'm very lucky that I've recently had a Kaisercraft reopen close to me. So I've got one at Point Cook, which makes life very easy. Uh, but even if that one closed down, I've got one in Bacchus Marsh and I've got one in Spencer Street, which isn't too hard to get to for me. So I have easy access to everything that I would need to replace on this trimmer. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this on camera as best I can because it's easier to show you uh, vertically rather than horizontally, but I will sort of try and fit it all on. Uh, so the first thing is this isn't a solid um, state sort of roller, it does flip up, um, but it does open sort of up and down. And what I also like about this is this is magnetic, so it does actually hold really solid, like you've got to sort of give it a bit of a pull to get it to come up. I love that, it really does hold it in the right spot. It's got measurements at both the top and the bottom, so whether or not you like to trim this way or this way, you've got easy access to see which way everything goes. I will admit though this side is upside down, so if you are left-handed that's going to be a slight problem. Uh, it also has an extender, oh, oh and these are in centimetres and in inches, so if you're someone that likes to make cards based on the inch system, if you do like to use imperial measurements you can, uh, but otherwise you can use metrics as well. Uh, so then you've also got the full 30 centimetre, this actually is a 41 centimetre extender on the top goes to just over 16 inches. So if you do want to cut something that's a little bit bigger, you have got that measurement. You've also got, and this is what I think is really clever, you've got the, the solid hold all the way along there. So it does hold that in place. That, that doesn't just become a measurement, it also becomes something to hold your piece of paper uh, steady. And I do love also that that then, that being out doesn't affect how sturdy this is on the side. Sometimes moving that makes this really unsturdy in the middle because you've taken out this bit of plastic that kind of holds it up. This still is very sturdy once you've done that. So that's that's a plus. You've also got the measurements all along here as well. I think these are in half centimetres, not quite. I'm not quite sure the measurements on those. Let's have a look, shall we? We'll be good. So they look like about six mil each time so I'm not quite sure why they're like that I just I haven't had any problem with them they're, they're reasonably easy to use I don't really use these ones so much I do use it if I need to sort of measure like line something up and I might sort of line it up against that line because that's just as easy it just sort of follows that along the whole way but I don't use these grids as much as I use these measurements now uh, so when it comes to the actual blade itself so there is, these are replaceable, which is one of my favorite things, and it is a roller style. So when you push down, so it's like a rotary trimmer, when you push down on this, the blade pops out. It is very easy to replace the blade. It's seriously that simple. You push it in, shut the lid, and she's ready to go. You can also buy different um, uh, shapes of blades, so you can get a wavy one, I think, and I think a scoring one. So I might give those a try at a later stage, but at least for now, I'm very happy with that. And I just love that I can go down and get more whenever I need them to. There is also a very small little, um, 
I don't know what it's called, like a little pointer thing that shows you what line you're coming down because there are two lines when you open this bit up. So this is where you're, you're actually cutting. So you're always cutting down the one, the line that's closest to this side. And so that's what that little pointer points out. It points out which one you're actually cutting down. And I'm assuming that when you put in maybe the other one, like the other kind of blades, I'm not sure if that moves over, but it does make it really easy to work out where you're cutting. And the other cool thing is that this bit here, which is the track that I've realized is the problem with some of my other trimmers. The track either gets, uh, if you're using a rotary one like this one, um, the track does get cut eventually. Um, which means you need to replace that otherwise it kind of goes a bit wonky this is replaceable as well but you can use it four times so you've got one two and three and four and you just rotate it around and that way you can get a fair amount of use sort of through all of it so that is the Kaiser cutter it is $49.99 from Kaiser craft it is often on sale if you wait until the back end of the month uh, you will often see Kaiser Craft do 50% off sales when they do that. This will also be 50% off. So unless you need one like right now, I would highly suggest waiting until the half prices because that's actually a great price. And all of the accessories will be half price as well. So the blades uh, and also the replacement tracks along here. Just to give you a look on the underside, because I just realized I hadn't done that. It does have some little sturdy silicon feet on the bottom there. It, it really is sturdily constructed. It doesn't feel cheap. You know how sometimes you get a trim and it feels cheap? Like my, my We Are Memory Keepers one felt like that. It just felt cheap as soon as it got out. This doesn't. This feels really solid. It feels very easy to use. You just push down to get it to cut. Otherwise that slides along really simply. I really like this trimmer so far. I haven't had any problems with it. Knocking. Um, fingers crossed I don't have any troubles at all. But I will, if I do, I will let you know as soon as they come up. So just to give you a bit of a demo, I guess, on, on cutting with this trimmer, because it really is very simple. It's a trimmer. I'm sure you guys all know how to use these, but, uh, and I know I've shown it in a lot of my videos as well, but I really like using the rulers that come on here. I feel like that saves, have, saves me doing a step if I can use the rulers that actually come on trimmers anyway. So I'm just lining this up. I just figured I'd cut out a couple of standard size sort of card front so I was doing them 10 and a half by 14 and a half so I've got my 10 and a half here just push down slide and you've got it it's easy as and then for the 14 we'll bring the side rule out 14 and a half is there and I'm just eyeballing that nothing nothing too much to it I'll do the 14 and a half here as well so even with the, the smaller cuts, you'll see that it is it is pretty precise, it's pretty good. And they're, they're slightly smaller, but that's probably my measuring more than it. So I'll just check this one. This one is 10 and a half as well, so I went right down the middle. Excellent. So 14 and a half. There we go. I don't think my half measuring is very good, but oh well. It's just a really easy cut, like, there we go. Um, no problems at all with that. It's very, very simple to use, easily to do without needing to actually measure all these out. And then I've got some card bases all ready to go. So that is it for this little review of the Kaiser Craft Kaiser Cutter. If you've got this one, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. You can leave it down below or you can find me on any of my social medias. You can also make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see all the wonderful ways that I use this trimmer in my videos, my crafting and in my planning. Hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your day and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.